Hello and good day to our lecturer Dr. Wee. Today, our group G2J will be presenting about how microbiofuel cells can treat domestic wastewater. What is domestic wastewater? Domestic wastewater is waste that was removed from household, commercial buildings, and industrial sectors. This wastewater consists of 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% impurities. However, due to the nature and the high volume of these impurities, treating them will be a big technical problem. Now, what is a microbial fuel cell? Microbial fuel cell, or MFC, is a fuel cell that can utilize organic waste to generate electro electrical energy and might be useful to treat domestic wastewater. Thus, this case study will describe the specification, advantages, disadvantages, expected budget, and timeline for the implementation of MFC in domestic wastewater treatment. The objective of this case study is 1. To propose a suitable fuel cell to treat domestic wastewater. 2. To justify the advantages and disadvantages of the proposed fuel cell. and 3. To utilize the principle of green chemistry in treating domestic water. Next, for the project design scientific description, the proposed method that we use to treat the domestic wastewater is by using the microbial fuel cell or MFC. In the MFC, there are three types of components that are present, which are cathode, anode, and membrane. In the anode that we, we use should have a high electrical conductivity. And the example of the common anode, the commonly used anode is graphite, because graphite have a very good electrical conductor and is also low cost in material. Next, for the cathode, it should have a very high redox potential so it can easily capture the proton and the example of the commonly used material for the cathode is a graphite and or carbon cathode. This is the example of the designs for the MFC and it's not as a single chamber microbial fuel cell. Why we, why we choose this SCMFC is because it it in law uh it is most cost effective than the other chamber because it does does not require any interaction process. While compared with the dual chamber, dual chamber are re required or needed the interaction process to provide the oxygen to the cathode. Next, the operation of the single chamber is is simplified because it's without the chemical regeneration or recycling the cut. Uh, the electrolyte. While well, when compared to the dual chamber, dual chamber are needed to needed to uh, regular, regularly supply the new electrolyte. Other than that, single chamber of MMC are uh, less uh, require a less invest investment in membranes. Also, they are can able to produce high volumetry power density due to the small cell volume. So now we are moving to the next part which is advantages and disadvantages of microbial fuel cell. The first advantages of this microbial fuel cell is it can directly transform substrate energy into electricity which enable it to biologically adjust to the treatment of variety chemical substrate with various concentration. And the next one is the microbial fuel cell can treat wastewater. Microbial fuel cell can kill sewage associated bacteria. It has been demonstrated that microbial fuel cell can reduce by 80% the amount of bacteria in wastewater. Toxin and non-biodegradable substance are eliminated from the wastewater during the preliminary treatment process. The disadvantages of the microbial fuel cell. The, the disadvantages of using this microbial fuel cell technology is it is low cost and low power and high cost. Due to its configurations of treatment, the microbial fuel cell has an average capital cost 30 times that of conventional activate slash treatment system of domestic wastewater. 
Other than that, in microbial fuel cell, the preliminary limiting factor of biocatalyst activity, electron transfer between the bacteria and the anode, internal resistance, and the overall potential of both electrodes. For example, low cell yield and the interference of suspended solid in the incoming wastewater with the formation of granular biocatalyst reduce the performance of UASB reactor in term biocatalyst scroll. Next is the budget. This table here summarizes the estimated cost of our proposed microbial fuel cell construction, cost of operation and maintenance, as well as the expected revenue and the cost-benefit ratio for our project. Next is the table that summarizes the timeline for this project. MFC solves environmental pollution by decreasing the emission of greenhouse gases. Conventional wastewater treatment plants are a major source of GHG as it emits methane, nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide from the utilization of fossil fuels. MFCs are able to reduce the amounts of carbon dioxide emission as no usage of combustion for energy is needed. MFCs are also able to remove heavy metal pollutants from wastewater by, by reducing them to a less toxic form to reduce their toxicity. Other heavy metals such as silver, copper, and cadmium can also be reduced and recovered. Eutrophication is a concern when building wastewater treatment plants, as nitrogen and phosphorus leaks out from reservoirs to nearby water bodies. The implementation of MFC to reduce eutrophication is viable as MFC degrades ammonia and is able to simultaneously perform nitrification and denitrification processes in the reactor. Valuable metal and nutrients can also be recovered from the usage of MFC for the treatment of domestic wastewater. Ammonium recovery can be done in MFC, allowing for nitrogen recovery that is heavily utilized in ammonia production. MFCs abide by the principles of green chemistry, including where the design allows for energy efficiency, real-time pollution prevention, use of renewable feedstock, and use of readily available biocatalysts. The main advantage of implementing MFC is the efficiency of the design that allows for multiple processes of treatment to be done simultaneously in the same reactor while producing energy. MFCs work on using presently available microorganisms such as metal-reducing bacteria that directly transfers electrons to the anode of the MFC, which allows for a fast transfer of electrons from the biocatalyst to the electrode. The implementation of MFCs has the potential to produce electricity from wastewater and also reduces levels of BOD, COD, nutrients and metals before being discharged into water bodies. Installation of MFC allows for electricity generation using domestic wastewater as a renewable feedstock as it is available in large quantities and the supply of domestic wastewater is limitless. Utilizing domestic wastewater as a feedstock for MFC is viable as they contain a large amount of organic matter that is suitable for microbial growth. In conclusion, microbial fuel cell is selected for domestic wastewater treatment and it consists of anodic and cathodic chamber that are separated by a membrane. Between double chamber and single chamber microbial fuel cell, single chamber microbial fuel cell is selected due to being cost effective high optimization, operational build on membrane, and small cell value. And the estimated budget is $66,321.82 or $292,147.62. And the expected timeline for the implementation is about one year or more. And thank you for listening to our presentation.